Jim and Rebecca married and moved to the big city. But after having four kids, we decided that wasn't for us. So we traded in our house for a 36 foot RV and a piece of raw land. Now we're taming this mess and creating a homestead. Hey, all y'all mess people out there. I'm just uh, letting you know what my project is for today. Today, uh, as you can see in the establishing shot, we have um, a few things going on. We're gonna put um, hookups for a washer and a dryer in this container, the new one. So I do have to run a little wire across and then I'll have one wire that will go just to the dryer on a separate circuit because it is a higher amp. Um, and then we have a, um, another one that can go to the washer and then I can run a couple more plugs off of that one and possibly have a out, couple outlets in here and maybe run it out back out to an, a light at the porch, but I, I need some more conduit. So I am going to have to have a trench dug. I can, I can do some stuff with my shoulders and back and stuff. I got to be careful to, not to overdo it. Thankfully there's only about maybe 15, 20 feet, and I only have to dig down maybe probably about two feet to bury it. And then, um, of course, run it inside the conduit, and um, then I can hook it up into the container. And I will be going under the container and drill a hole through the floor. The floor is wood. Yeah, we wanna get some power to this thing and uh, be able to move her washer from outside over here, get that inside so that if it's raining, she can still do laundry or whatever. So here we go. All right, so I got my stuff everywhere. Um, some of this stuff I'm using for the project, like this light here will go in the front. I've had this light for a while, found it in the garbage. Um, so it's a free, didn't cost me anything. And then we'll have light up front. And then I'm also have another light that's a spotlight. I bought all the parts for it um, a while ago and just never have put it up. So I'm gonna put that up fine. And then of course the washer and dryer will probably be right about here. Um, I kind of want to have it up back a little way so you have some room in front of the container to kind of get in and out and get around them. So I'm probably gonna do it right where these two are. And then she'll have a shelf on this side which she can access easily. And that way kind of gives you a funnel when you come in you're not just like bam you got a washer in front of you so here we go underneath so as long as I'm between these screw holes there's one here one there if I put it here should be good to go here we go first hole this wall look good two to well if you're in the, this you're only like an inch off but when you hit this corrugated you're about two inches and i'm just going to shove all this down the hole okay all clean but that's kind of good that i had to drill that second hole because i made room my one wire is a variable wire so it has an extra sheathing around it so I can push it through that other hole and that, and the edge here is rounded. So it's not gonna chafe. And then my other one that I have to go through the conduit, I can run the conduit all the way up. So that actually is kind of a good thing. All right, now we are going to pop a hole over here. And then we will pop our stuff through. I got my cutters. 
got this that will go up in here. Now to dig the trench. I took the time to stretch so I didn't re-injure myself. got the cat lady here <laughs> she's taking the food and giving it to the kitty so go up to the cat looker and like look in with the, her head cock side and say you want food you food you and like ask them like ask them if they're hungry and of course they're always hungry they they don't like her because she grabs them but when she has the food they're her best friend are you putting it back yeah. good job e. E. is it heavy or is it hard? Hard. Hard to close? Yes. Yes. Did you feed the cats? Yeah. Good job. All right, let's put that away. No more. No, no more. No. no more. No. We don't want the cats to get fat. Be nice to the kitty. Be nice. Did you fall? Is it closed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good job. Smile. Look at Dada. Look at Dada. Say cheese. Look at that cute little smile. There's the kitty. Is that the kitty? Cheese. Doing. Since we got the conduit and we have this wire, we don't want it to get nicked like I did the other wire. We're going to zip tie it underneath this conduit. So if ever we dig it up again for whatever reason, it'll have less likely chance of getting nicked. Uh, and then, Which wire is that that you're... The wire I'm zip tying underneath is for the dryer. It's a thicker wire. It's a 10 gauge. Whereas the other two are 14 and 16, I think. So we're using the materials that we have so yeah. we don't have to spend money. All right. What is it? Oh, Dang kids! Dang kids! I say that a lot around here, <laughs> a lot. Yes, because the these kids, kids get stuff like this, and they take them and they play with them because they're fun toys. But it is what it is. It's the life with kids, and it's fun, and I enjoy it, and I laugh every time I say, "Damn kids!" <laughs> so you're gonna finish this. Yep. Stick it back in there and wire it up. Yep, and then run it up into the box, both of these. Did you finish? Not finished, but I mean, I got them ran. Mm-hmm. 
go open up under there. But so you just have to wire it in now, huh? Well, yeah. Kind of. we, we need and we need the box or the what's it called breaker breaker yeah we need a breaker we need a breaker but you're gonna put that in there because the rain's coming yes so i will put these wires up and down so i have an extra cut them and then we'll bury this so it's not just open i know because with the rain yep. we do not need an open pit That's for sure. yeah i'm bringing in the big guns You gotta move this dirt into this, this hole. hole. Quick, quick, quick. Get on this side and pull. So here's what I got done inside. Got these wired up, which this is an extra wire. Then I have the the bigger gauge wire that I think it's 12 gauge and this is 14. This is 10. 10 will go to the dryer. I have to find out if I can run a mini split off of this because I forgot about my mini split. But of course we need to check how many we can have on each circuit with the size gauge wire. I may mount this because there is a gap between this and I don't like that. Not that anything's gonna snag on it um, because it will um, be behind a washer or dryer, but still just for kind of you know to keep it more solid we'll put something behind it and it's right in the, the indent in the container so that's what we got so far so we'll have washer well um washer dryer and then possibly a freezer and, but i also need to have possibly a third circuit which i wish i would have thought because running one now would probably be pretty tough because there's two elbows but we'll see hey out of here these cats love to come in here i do want to say a special thank you to a few people last month with um you guys knowing about my job and all that um we had a large donation um uh by a, a friend of ours and um just really want to say thank you so much um my former boss as well um and his wife gave me um a, a pretty sizable um thing to help us as well and that really helped out a lot. And then I had a job by a, a guy that I met from uh, his own channel. He um, gave me about $200 in tools, um, just old tools, just cause he, me and him kind of hit it off. And, um, and um, you know, and he, he needed me to run a, a, another line to a room that wasn't getting good airflow. So um, Cody, thank you for that. I almost forgot Ryan who gave me my first AC side job um really appreciate that it's helped out a lot and then we also had a good friend of my mom's um i'm not going to give his last name either his name's chris he bought one of the moss uh, little plants little um plants and he said to donate it to the um our local um nursing home we just really appreciate all the help you guys have um given us um and and there's been um neighbor on the corner um had a job for me as well it took two days to do i was able to use my father-in-law's tractor to get the job done um at this point our bills for this month are paid you know that's with no extras no gas or food or anything else um and then we did have another friend um uh jason and jen um they got us some food you guys have no idea i'm not a person that likes to ask for anything and um i would rather work and earn it and um, you know, so it's kind of hard sometimes to be in this place, especially on this platform in front of all you guys, you know, and thankfully most of you know me personally, but um, it's humbling and um, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to us. And we just, uh, I want to say thanks. Welcome to the mess. Where God takes our mess and makes it his best. Yes.